Hello, everyone. Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And to all of my returning OGs, what's up, y'all? So welcome to February 2020, yeah? A very, very happy birthday to all my Aquarians out there. And I also want to wish a happy birthday to the February Pisceans. We will be moving into your season next, yes? So um, with that said, I do want to mention, first of all, I want to say that this is the intro and you will find a, um, a timestamp pinned in the comments section that will get you straight to the reading. So if you're watching multiple readings and you don't want to listen to the intro over and over again, you can use that timestamp. I do recommend, however, that everybody listen to the intro at least once because there is some information that you may really need or may be privy to, may want to be privy to, that you would miss had you not listened to the intro. Yeah. So with this being Aquarius season, I do want to mention that the reading for Aquarius could very well be a collective energy, a collective reading. However, it is intended to be for those who are looking for guidance, guidance for the sign of Aquarius because we are in that season. I do feel like this could be a reading for you generally. So maybe you might want to watch that reading just to see how it applies to you and what it could mean for your life moving through Aquarius season, just like I did with Capricorn last month. Um, even though I did mention that maybe I wanted to do a separate reading so that your readings don't get hijacked with collective energy. Hi <laughs> um, it didn't necessarily happen that way this month. I'll see. Um, but if you guys if you guys find that you know you might want an actual reading please let me know for the month of, or for the season that we're moving in i would love to know i'd love to hear that from you yeah um okay so these these readings are general and they are timeless so because they're general readings um you know just take what resonates everything is not going to resonate for everyone and this may not even be the reason for you if if you're hearing listening to this and it's just not fitting it's not making sense then please don't try and fit anything into your life that doesn't belong there naturally okay and also keep in mind that this is a general reading i'm channeling for thousands of people so um you know not everything is going to necessarily resonate with you all the time okay so just keep that in mind also these readings are timeless so just because it is dated for the month of february and i'm channeling energies for the messages for the month of february for you it doesn't mean that it absolutely has to resonate for you during the month of february this could be messages that come forward to you that spirit wants you to know at this time but it's not something that doesn't actually manifest or happen for some time down the road okay so just keep that in mind i am available for private readings all the information is found in the description box below this video um, you can also find me on uh, social media. I'm on Facebook at Divine Conversations 2711. I'm also on Instagram at Divine underscore Conversations. I do welcome you to reach out to me there. However, if you are looking to book a personal reading, I do not recommend that you use Facebook. Um, I don't even really recommend that you use Instagram. However, Instagram is a more viable option. I am able to get to the messages more quickly, but my dm situation is just full of all kinds of messages so there's still a possibility that i might miss your inquiry and with that said even if you were to say to reach out on instagram for a personal reading i'm still going to defer you back to email so if you would like to get a personal reading with me check the description box below my email can be found there along with all of the readings that i offer their description and their prices and then email me directly. My email address is divineconversations2711 at gmail.com. But again, that can be found in the description box. Again, I am going to, even if you were to reach out on Instagram, I am still going to defer to your email address because I would at least need your email address to send you an invoice for the reading. So you're better off just skipping a step and emailing me, emailing me directly and I'll get you set up for a personal reading. Yeah? Cool. So the Oracle deck that we're using for this month is the Queen of the Moon Oracle by Stacey DeMarco. I really, really enjoyed using this this um, this deck this month. Um, it was a deck that was provided by a viewer. Thank you so much for sending this in. I really appreciate it. For those of you that are interested in donating Oracle decks or Tarot decks that you would like to see used on the channel, I do have a PO box that the information for that can be found in the description box as well. Um, if you are going to send a tarot or oracle deck, you might just want to email me really quick and really and check in to see if I have that deck yet, um, so that you know we're not you're not kind of wasting money sending a repeat deck. Okay, um, but the one thing I want to say about this deck is that 
uh, of this Oracle deck is that the author speaks in first person kind of often. So just keep that in mind when I'm saying, when I'm reading through the, the, the definition on the, in the book and I'm speaking, I'm saying things like I, it's coming from the perspective of the author herself. Okay. It's not me speaking personally. It's the author and her narrative. It's sometimes it's in the first person, but it's great. I mean, it still worked really well. The messages were beautiful for that. So I'm excited to, for you to guys, for you guys to see them. And for those of you that are new to the channel and are wondering, I'm not the type of reader that's looking into the situation to be nosy. My intention with these readings here is to bring forward the best messages for you that you need to hear at this time so that you can make a better decision for your life moving forward so that you can have a greater opportunity to be more discerning for your life and for the where you want to go and potentially what could be coming on down the pipeline for you. If at any moment you find that the, something is resonating with you and you don't quite like the way that sounds, you don't want to continue manifesting with that or manifesting that, you have the opportunity to change that manifestation by changing your thought process, then changing your beliefs and changing your alignment to the situation, okay? So just keep in mind, for those of you that are here trying to snoop, trying to get into people's minds, thinking that I'm trying to get into somebody's head, I'm not your guy, all right? There are plenty of people that are out here that may be doing that, but I'm not here for that. Also understand that I do not base my channelings on love specifically. If love comes out, then love comes out. I am not resistant to that. However, if you're looking for specific love readings, then this is probably not the, the channel for you. I do have moments where I will do uh, you know, a love live session here or there, but ultimately the focus of my channel or the focus of Divine Conversation is to bring you greater guidance and understanding about, well, to bring you greater guidance, of, or, I'm sorry, <laughs> to bring you greater understanding about what is going on in your life, the energies that are surrounding you, and then bringing you guidance in, in terms of handling those energies and making the best decisions for yourselves. Yes? Okay, I believe that's it. So without further ado, let's get to it. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Mwah. Hey there, Cancer. Welcome to your reading for February 2020. Thank you so much for tuning in. So... Um, let's get into your pre-shuffle here because I was meditating on your energy for a little bit. Um, and I, I'm getting this really sorrowful, sorrowful feeling for you. It feels, it almost feels as if you're completely drained. Like I was, I, I am, I am, in, I, blah, 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 sorry. I envision a crab, right, for you because you're the sign of the crab. So in trying to channel or connect with your energies, I was visually visualizing a crab in my, in my mind's eye. And it's like, there was, it was drained of all color. It's like you're feeling an energy or you're feeling in a, in a, in a, in a space right now where you're just drained. And I was hearing things like, you're overexerting yourself or, or, or you're trying too hard, something like that. Now, with that said though, Cancer, I feel and I see a turnaround coming for you, okay? Your overall energy will start you here. You have the sun with the seven of swords. So I'm with this, I'm hearing enlightenment. For some of you, this is an energy of you going through an awakening process. For others of you, this is an energy in which some sort of deception or narcissism, maybe someone taking advantage of you, maybe even you deceiving yourself, ways that you may have been deceiving yourself about something or something like that. That's either come to light or is about to come to light, is about to be revealed. And that might be the source of your depression, the source of your sorrow. Um, it could also be like, like, it could be a source of that sorrow in terms of that's what's been draining you for so long and now you're becoming aware of it. So in essence, you can put an end to it. Or it could be that becoming aware of this really puts you in a negative emotional space. But you just have to deal with it. You just have to get through it. You just have to move through the emotions. Because ultimately, whatever is happening here for you is going to change a lot. I do see with the queen, you have the queen of wands, the three of cups and the wheel of fortune. Um, so ultimately this, with this queen of wands energy, this is where I feel like you're moving to what you're starting to embody, what you're going towards and um, your, your sense of confidence and self-respect and self-worth is going to do a complete 180. Uh, you know, that's off, that's coming off in, you know, down the pipeline, it's off on the horizon. The three of cups is giving me two energies. It's either the union of body, mind and spirit 
or it's a celebration, whether this be you turning to friends and family as like a support system to help you lift your spirits, or this is a celebration between you and the universe in terms of gaining your confidence back whenever that happens, okay? And then ultimately, overall energy, you have the Page of Wands, which to me is very much a minor arcana version of the Hermit, which is an energy of going within, self-discovery and all that. But as the Page of Wands, this is more, uh, this is a little more on the surface level rather than, you know, you know, such deep soul searching, deep diving within like the Hermit would represent. And here I do see that as uh, redefining yourself, um, you, you know, in whatever way that may be, changing your life in some way, changing who you deal with, how you deal with certain situations, changing the way you feel about something, changing the way you think about something, I don't know, like whatever, take it as it resonates for you, whatever that change would be for you. Okay, this is a good energy so far, and I do, like, I, I wasn't, I, obviously I don't like the fact that you guys aren't feeling so hot and that you're you know, kind of in a depressive mood or you're about to enter into a depressive situation, but ultimately the outcome is good. You know, it's a necessary, yeah, look, the Six of Swords. Okay, whatever it is you're going through right now or about to go through is absolutely necessary because it's leading you forward down the road, ooh, yeah, toxicity with the devil. Um, Knight of Wands also is an activation, but it's leading you from rough waters to calmer waters. You just gotta get through, I guess what we can call this Five of Cups period. If you're not already there, you know, just be aware of it. Woo, all right, uh, Cancer, all right, Cancer. <laughs> Sorry, I just did the Gemini reading, but Cancer. Let's see what else we've got for you for the month of February, 2020. Here we go. I'm sorry, guys. Give me just one second. I'm sorry. I had to. I had to turn the heat down in my apartment because it's like it's just it's too hot <laughs> and it's like blowing right on me right now. And I was just like, oh my god, I can't deal with this. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Cancer. Let's do this. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Cancerians, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of February 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Cancer, let me give this five shuffles and we'll see what we've got for you. One. Two. For my Cancerians, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the month of February 2020, this is three. Here we have four. And five, form a Cancerian, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the month of February, 2020. Let's see what we've got for you, Cancer. Boop. All right, overall energy. I just wanna say before I even get into anything, I'm really feeling this kind of like happy-go-lucky energy right now. I'm feeling like I wanna keep that vibe up for you because I want to encourage you to try and be as happy as you can. So if I seem really upbeat, it's because I'm trying to pass some of that energy to you, okay? <laughs> because you don't need to be so down in the dumps. And I understand cancer, Cancerians are fairly quite emotional beings and I, I, no tea, no shade on that one. I love Cancerians. I think Cancers, my, some of my best friends in life, the main people that I have ever been able to call my best friend those were cancers, all right? So I love y'all, okay? So I'm really just trying to help you feel a little a little better, okay? All right, cool. Overall energy <laughs> is the seven of wands. All right, so boundaries, asserting yourself, asserting your boundaries. And Cancer, this is a very strong message for you right now. For whomever is resonating with this, you need to start really setting some stronger boundaries here between you and another person or maybe you and a group of people or maybe this is like, um, a financial or a business situation sometimes what whatever it is for you the the strongest message right now is assert your boundaries 
and don't let them go for anyone else other than your own self. Like if you feel like you can like be a little lax here and there on a certain thing, okay, great. But if someone else is coming at you saying, you gotta do X, Y, and that, nope, girl or brother, you better keep those boundaries up, okay? Underneath, whoo, okay, underneath the Seven of Wands, you do have the Nine of Swords, all right? Underneath the Nine of Swords, you whoo, whoo, got the King of Swords. And then finally, there's the Hermit. All right, so Cancer, we are talking about some really deep diving and deep soul searching. And what I'm, and I'm gonna be 100 with you right now. Cancer, you have got to be as brutally honest with yourself as you possibly can. It is absolutely necessary at this point, Cancer. No beating around the bush here. You have got to face whatever this is and be honest with yourself about it. And in terms of being honest with yourself about it, what you really need to do is be honest about your involvement in it. How have you been enabling or allowing someone well, okay, here's this. How have you been enabling someone's toxic tendencies? How have you been allowing someone to come into your life and be toxic express, and, and, and bring all kinds of toxic bullshit into your life? Are you the one that's exhibiting the toxicity? This Nine of Swords is saying to me that you have been refusing to look at this. But the King of Swords is coming through saying, uh-uh, no more, especially with this Hermit card. Face yourself. Be honest. Be real. Because that's literally the only way you're going to be set free. You're going to be lim uh, liberated from this. All right? Whew. Okay. So let's get into the rest of your reading here. First half, second half of the reading. You could look at this as the first half, second half of your month. Take it however it resonates for you. Yes? First set of surrounding energies for you, Cancer. In the first half of your reading, you have... Okay, well, the Nine of Cups, I guess that's a good thing, but the first thing I heard when the Nine of Cups came out was gluttony. This very much feels like a comfort zone type of energy. Nine of Cups is coupled with... Oh, okay, but to the Ten of Cups here. All right, well, that's good. You know, I do also, I want to say that this does, what I'm hearing with this now is that you are on the precipice of this Ten of Cups. Also, though, for some of you, there is an energy of you wanting to have the Ten of Cups or thinking that you have the Ten of Cups, but you're not quite there. And it's almost, oh, wow. This is wow. But for some of you, it's it's as if you're like, it's almost a fake it till you make it energy, but you know it's not going to happen the way that you want it to so, or, or in this situation, this circumstance. And so you might be self-medicating. You, you might be, you know, trying to eat or smoke or drink your pain away in some way instead of really just taking that last step to get you to the Ten of Cups here. Interesting. That's... Strange. I mean, I don't, I, I'm not reading reversals. None of my cards are reversed here. So it, this could very well be, one of these could be reversed. Like the Nine of Cups could actually be reversed here if I were reading reversals, but. <sighs> okay, let's continue. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Cancer. In the first half of your reading, you have strength. You know, Cancer, I, I'm getting an energy of you needing to have the strength to say goodbye to something, to walk away from something, to, to leave something behind you so that you can receive whatever it is you truly want here with this nine and 10 of cups. Okay. Uh, the strength card is coupled with oh, the lovers. You have to have the strength, Gemini, not Gemini, so sorry, but Gemini is, I mean, the lovers is representative of Gemini. Maybe I'm talking to a Gemini. Maybe the, there's a cross-watching Gemini here that's connected to a Cancerian. I don't know. Maybe you have a can maybe you're a Cancerian and you're and you're and you're involved with a Gemini. I don't know. Maybe you have Gemini in your chart. I don't know. It really doesn't freaking matter, okay? The message here is that 
you, Cancer, or whomever is watching, you need to have the strength to make a choice for yourself and follow through with that. And it's interesting because the Gemini reading was very much like that. It's, it's, you know, it has to do with making a choice and following through with that choice, committing to whatever, because they're about to, Gemini is about to hit a crossroads and you're going to have to choose whether you want to go down the same old road again or what, whether you want to take the, the, the new path, the path least traveled maybe at least by your own self, okay? So, hey, maybe you're a, chem a Cancer Gemini cusper and maybe you need to watch that Gemini reading. It might very well be very resonant for you, but Cancer, the, st the, 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 the message here is someone needs to have the strength to choose for themselves. I'm hearing someone needs to have the strength to walk away from a situation or a circumstance. I'm hearing a living situation. Okay, so that could be for someone that is no longer serving you, that has become extremely toxic in some cases, maybe if not overly toxic, because you just keep feeding into it. Your challenge, Cancer, in the first half of your reading, you have going through the transformation, death. Yeah, that is a pretty big challenge. Especially if this, because I, I am feeling like this is, this has, this is heavily, has heavily, is he Wow, <laughs> has a lot to do with some sort of home or family situation. I mean, it could just be something as simple as maybe roommates or something like that. I don't know, but I do feel, get a strong home energy from this. Maybe it could just be because I just heard homebody. So maybe you're just more of a homebody. Anyway, in general. But yeah, your challenge is to transform here. Death is coupled with the ace of wands and it's like I, it's like you have the inspiration you know what direction you want to move in you know what it is you want to choose but now it's just an, an energy of taking up that wand and moving forward and transforming through it closing message or potential outcome for you cancer in the first half of your reading here you have my my the eight of swords only you can break yourself free jump oh, wow Cancer, but I was just about to say Gemini. Gemini got this card too. However, I feel what I was picking up with Gemini is that, you know, they're they're on the precipice of making a change and cutting themselves free from some sort of mental prison. Here, Cancer, I feel like you need to be you need to get the motivation going to break free from this cage or this mental prison or whatnot. Whatever this eight of swords represents for you. This really could I mean I'm getting strong family vibes from this situation circumstance here so it could i mean it doesn't even mean that you have to really be living physically with these family members or this family dynamic or whatnot it could just be the influence of certain family members that are that is taking a toll on you that you need to like cut yourself free from of you know what i mean okay eight of swords is coupled with yo cancer ten of swords honey baby boo boo chow will you just put this to rest already Please, Cancer. You are suffering needlessly. And the only reason you are suffering so needlessly, Cancer, is because you refuse to break yourself free from this. For whatever reason. Trust me, I'm not passing, I'm not trying to pass judgment on you, but this does really kind of feel like a refusal. To break these chains, to end the narcissism, to end the toxicity. Listen, cancer is a cardinal sign, yes, but check it out. Cancer, Cancerians, y'all can be stubborn as all fucking hell. <laughs> and I love you. That's coming from uh, 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 a son in Taurus in the Western chart okay so i know about being stubborn my son is in taurus in the western in western astrology my son is in taurus my moon is in leo and my rising is virgo i know about being stubborn okay and this feels like and i don't it's almost like you're you're cancer what i'm feeling here is like you are borderline martyring yourself right now like borderline martyrdom and I, I'm going to be honest with you, honey, that ain't cute. It might have been cute for like five minutes, but girlfriend, that five minutes was over six hours ago. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, Lord. All right. 
Let's get into the second half of your reading here, Cancer. First set of surrounding energies you have. The four of, literally what I was just talking about, the four of pentacles. There is that stubborn energy. No, I'm not letting go. No, I'm not letting go. No, I'm not letting go. Like literally standing here trying to pry your fingers off of it and you're like, no. Mm -mm. And I don't even see you fighting against it. You're just kind of like passively just like, no, no, I'm holding on. No, 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 I'm good here. No, you're not good here, Cancer. You're, you're literally being torn to pieces. You're being drained. Oh, it's fine. I'll just stay. Four of Pentacles is coupled with the Knight of Wands. Now, that's the exact opposite of that Four of Pentacles. What I'm getting, what I'm getting here, Cancer, is you are going to need to go through some sort of activation or awakening or alignment to break yourself free from this. I kind of feel like that's what you're working towards. And what I, the message that I'm getting from this is you need to light a fire under your ass and get yourself going and moving in this new direction. But it almost feels ridiculous to say that because it's, I don't know, some of you just feel like you're not willing to move at all. You're not willing to budge. With this Four of Pentacles and Knight of Wands, I really just want to encourage you to really start to build up the momentum to get moving. Okay. And this even could be a message of moving quickly, vigorously towards a, a new foundation with the Four of Pentacles. All right. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Cancer. In the second half of your reading here, you have, oh, the sun again. Beautiful. You know, okay. So what I'm getting with this now is that Cancer, some of you are in this this hoarder type energy or this clinging on to whatever for dear life type energy because you're afraid of the outcome. You're afraid that maybe you'll never get another chance at a relationship like this again, even though if you are in a relationship like this, this is not an ideal situation. Why would you want something like this ever again? You know what I mean? But I, I but at the same time, I get where you're coming from. Um, but the sun is shining here. Everything is going to work out perfectly fine. You just have to move forward with it. Brighter days, better days are ahead. And I'm hearing some, I'm, what I'm also hearing is you are better off this way. You may not see it now, but in the future, you'll look back on this and be like, damn, why did I ever waste so much time? The sun is coupled with the page of swords now. Okay. There may be some sort of communication that comes through, maybe some sort of information you may have looked, you, again, all right, so this is actually reiterating what was coming through in the, in the pre-shuffle. There, um, there may be some, some intel that you get that maybe blows the whole, the blows the lid off of this whole thing, like open, like blows this wide open. And it may be a situation in which it's so blatantly obvious that you cannot deny it that's what i'm getting from the sun here it's like you can't deny that the sun is shining no matter how many clouds are in the sky no matter how stormy it is you always know when the sun is shining right mm -hmm. and this intel represented by the page of swords could be exactly what you needed the kick in the pants or the or the the the, the fire lit under your ass to finally let something go move away from something, move on from something, that kind of energy, okay? Your challenge in the second half of your reading here, Cancer, you have, well, there you are, the chariot, but also your challenge is to get into a balanced state and move forward. Start moving, Cancer. That's your challenge. But what's most, I mean, yes, the biggest form of this challenge is absolutely... Uh, getting the ball rolling or starting to get moving, but also like that's a pretty heavy part of this But also I really feel like the heaviest or the strongest message within the chariot is you have got to get yourself into balance It's for your own 
good. It's for your own greatest good. If you really want to move forward and change your circumstances, you have got to find a sense of balance within yourself so that no one can sway you. No one can move you off the path or tra the trajectory that you're moving towards. All right. Okay. You, uh, the chariot is coupled with ooh, the king of wands. Yeah. Yeah, Cancer. Striking a balance within yourself, identifying what it is you want, and not letting anyone sway you. The King of Wands is so sure of himself, knows exactly what he wants, is not afraid at in any way, shape, or form to go after it, and damn sure isn't going to tell anybody, let anybody tell him what he can or cannot do. Are you kidding? A snowflake has a better chance in hell of surviving than you do of having, of telling, be, allowing the king, uh, uh, the, 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 you get what I'm saying. Than you do of being able to tell the king of wands what he should, uh, should or shouldn't be doing. You, man. Mm. This is your challenge though. This is in fact your challenge, Cancer. Closing message or potential outcome in the second half of your reading, you have the King of Pentacles. Lots of king energy, lots of masculine energy. But in this case, I really feel like this is speaking to, you know, the masculine energy within you. Masculine energy is all about taking action. Following through, doing the damn thing. I feel like what this is saying here, Cancer, is you have enough of a physical foundation, whether that's uh, financial or just your own physicality, your own manifestation of yourself. You have enough to move forward, or at least you will have enough to move forward. For some of you, you're questioning whether or not you'll be able to do it or make it on your own. And this is confirmation, in my opinion, that yes, you absolutely will be just fine. King of Pentacles is coupled with... The Hierophant. Now, the other thing that I was getting with the King of Pentacles is that you might be finding that right ideal mate. The King of Pentacles um, is is like a husband. The ideal partnership or the right the right um, the right match that could lead to a strong commitment, maybe even a marriage. Okay. But also what I'm getting with this, the Hierophant and the King of Pentacles, is that you've really learned some really valuable lessons that have put you in a place to really be well manifested. And I'm hearing you should be proud of yourself. You should. I mean, it may not feel like it right now, but ultimately you absolutely should be proud of yourself here because you've learned a great deal. All right. All right, Cancer. So let's get your Oracle guidance for the month of February. Okay, last shuffle here for my Cancerians. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the month of February 2020. Let's see what we've got for you, Cancer. Oracle guidance, please. Whoops, there it goes. There it goes, right there. Right there. Okay, we've got card number 37, which is a 10, which is completion. Harvest moon fruition. Huh. Okay. Let us see here. Fruition. As the seasons turn, there is always a time when all the potential of the spring begin spring beginnings is manifest. The crops grow tall and are ready to harvest, and they have done this from a fallow field into which we have planted seeds. The trees have flowered and now there are there is fruit to pick. It is time for the harvest. The quote here says, I welcome the joyous fruit of all the intentions I set. When we are able to bring something to fruition, whether it be a planting, a project, or a change in ourselves, it is the perfect time to celebrate all that we are grateful for and to mark our achievement. 
we may have worked very hard to bring this new situation into reality. We may have been patient in the way we have worked over time and sacrificed much to make it happen. The harvest moon is the time to be happy about our successes and to share it with others. Our ancestors would dance and sing and have community festivals of thanks, all to celebrate the fruition of all that hard work and thank the gods for their assistance. These times of high energy are also times to re really focus on your body as they can be quite taxing on our systems. If we don't take care, it's often the time when we can get ill. This moon normally falls on the moon closest to the autumn equinox in the northern hemisphere. The companion stone or metal for this is garnet. So if you feel like, if you feel called to or inclined to work with garnet here to help you through this process, I highly recommend you do so. But with that said, Cancer, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope you have a fantastic month, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of March. Y'all, take care. Mwah! Bye!